How we doing guys, Dime JC here, and today I'm going to be talking about this controversial Qatar World Cup. If you have smashed the like button, comment, and subscribe as I speak, Belgium versus Canada is about to kick off in 30 minutes, so I'm going to be watching that game, and we're going to see, man, the Saudi Arabia-Argentina game, we're going to start off with that, and then we're going to go to Germany versus Japan today. Now, um, that Saudi Arabia-Argentina game, Argentina scored like three goals that were offsides. And then Saudi Arabia won 2-1. Now, if you're a betting person, right, let's say you put up a bet or a parlay or something, because I understand it a little bit. A parlay, you put up, like, I don't know, like four or five bets, I guess. And then if you get all five, you get the payout or you cash out midway or however it works. If you, bro, they already know a lot of people are going to bet on Argentina to win. So whoever bet on Saudi Arabia to win is cashing out. It's that simple. Two upsets, really, in two days or two or one and a half days, really? When has this ever happened in the World Cup? Can somebody tell me? Two big upsets, really? Argentina loses to Saudi Arabia and Germany loses to Japan back to back like that, really? This has never happened before. This is a new ball game they're playing right here. This is ridiculous. Two back to back upsets, two days in a row. I mean, seriously, man. Seriously. This is ridiculous, man. I mean, now now, now you got articles coming out like this. Let's, let's look at this, right? FIFA and VAR allegedly made a huge mistake on Argentina's Latoro Martinez's offsides goal. Oh, so, so now they got it. Now it's correct. Oh, but, but it's over now. Now it's time to come up with an article. Oh, we made a mistake. When it's over, the game is over over now it's over oh we made a mistake the game's over the game's over now the game's over now all of a sudden we made a mistake this, this is so stupid fifa and var have been accused of missing a huge detail in latardo martinez disallowed goal as saudi arabia shocked argentina one of the favorites to lift the world cup ahead of the tournament argentina will help dealt with a huge blow on Tuesday as they were beaten by Saudi Arabia. Um, the Saudis certainly deserved their win, which instantly goes down in history, and it wasn't even like they were hanging on too much at the end. Ridiculous. Three offsides goals, and, and they're saying this isn't even offsides. And it doesn't even look offsides. I mean, look how tight that is. His arm is right here. His foot's right here. This is super tight. If it's this tight, it's on. Look how tight that is. That looks on sides, and they messed up, and they called it off anyway. This is what I'm saying, man. This is what I'm saying. Look at that, man. Now, now the game's over, right? The game's over. It's the next day. Oh, oh, oops. The refs made a lapse in judgment. Oh, the next day, the game's over. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about, man. Whoever bet on Saudi Arabia to win against Argentina in a parlay and got the other ones right, they got big payouts. And not many people bet on Saudi Arabia to win. I can almost guarantee that a lot of people lost money in that game. And today with that Japan-Germany thing. I'm going to talk about that too. Lionel Messi opened his account for the tournament with a coolly taken penalty. However, the system has been criticized for ruling um, Argentina striker Martinez an offside with accusations that the VAR was only looking at the defender closest to him. Of course. Of course they are. Of course. The game is over. I know, but Latoro Martinez was not offside. It is what it is, man. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this. A football fan lost $160,000. After betting on Argentina to beat Saudi Arabia, $160,000, man. Bro, people lost so much money on this shit. And this is what I'm saying. This is why I don't get into gambling. This is bullshit right here, man. Really? Really? Saudi Arabia? Really? Really? <laughs> really? Really? Come on, man. No, I don't know. No, man. No, 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 man. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Odds were one, uh, 1.13, which would have 
uh, netted $180,000 return. That works out to $20,000 in profit. Man, whoever, the, the people in the higher-ups, whoever knew to bet on Saudi Arabia to win 2-1 or whoever knew, man, they're cashed out right now. Somebody know. They're cashed out. And now, now it's coming out the next day that apparently it wasn't, um, um, one of the goals wasn't offsides. The next day when it's over. <laughs> this is bullshit right here, man. This World Cup is bullshit. This is stupid, man. This is so stupid. Saudi Arabia goalkeeper told Lionel Messi where to put his penalty, and he made him look a fool. Look at that. He's pointing where to put the penalty, and then he dove the other way. Why would you do that? And he's off his line. Why would you do that, though? Why would you Why would you point one way and then dive the I'm just asking questions here. Why would you point that way? the goalie, and then dive the other way. That the Most time, the striker is going to put it where you point. I'm asking questions here because this is very suspect, man. This is suspect shit. This is very suspect, man. Very, very suspect stuff going on, man. And then don't even get me started on that. Um, Spain and Costa Rica just finished. Spain won like 7-0. Really? No, man. No. Nah, nah, another World Cup shock, really? Japan beat Germany, really? <laughs> Who the fuck is betting on Japan to beat Germany? Everybody had their money in Germany to win, and then they get an upset again. Somebody else probably lost another $200,000. This is what they're doing right now. I'm telling this right here is nonsense, man. Come on, man. No, man. No. Uh uh. Really? I mean, Japan beat Germany 2 1. That's crazy. That's crazy. Man, these upsets, back to back upsets, two days in a row. Nah, man. That's too much of a coincidence, man. And it's not a coincidence. Too much of a coincidence. Two back to back upsets in, in two days. No, man. Uh uh. Nah, man. There's no way. Mm mm. Too good to be true, man. Too good to be true. Too good to be true, man. Nah. And Spain just romped on Costa Rica, so they're gonna have like a crazy goal difference. So Spain will probably finish top of their top of the group. I don't know what this is. What is this from? I don't know if that's from that LGBT thing. I I don't know. I don't know. There's so much going on at that World Cup. That's nonsense right now, man. But yeah, like I said, guys, just to cut this short, honestly, Japan beating Germany 2-1 and Argentina losing to Saudi Arabia, don't be surprised for more upsets. Portugal might lose tomorrow to Ghana. Do not be surprised. Don't be surprised if Ronaldo loses tomorrow. Don't be surprised. I'm, t I'm telling you. There might be another upset coming. There's going to be more and more upsets coming. This right here is the cash out. Who is betting on Saudi Arabia and Japan? Please let me know in the comments down below. Who's betting on them two teams to win those games? Let me know. Let me know. Two, really? 2-1? Two, Both games ended 2-1? Uh, was it 2-1 Saudi Arabia? Yeah, it was 2-1 Saudi Arabia. I'm, I'm positive. Yeah, Messi with the pen and then they scored two. They both ended 2-1. Really? Both 2-1, um, both in a similar sort of fashion. Too good to be true, man. Too good to be true. And nobody's betting on Saudi Arabia and Japan and putting serious money on that. Really? See, see these guys that, that know already, they're putting serious money on that. And they're going to cash out. Nobody's betting on Saudi Arabia and Japan to win. <laughs> Come on, man. World Cup, first World Cup group games. Really? It's just too... It, it's too it's too much going on right now. It's too much of a it's too much of a coincidence, man. But yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye on this, man. We're gonna see what happens in this Belgium um, Canada game at two o'clock. This is gonna be interesting as well. So let me know down below what you think. It's been but I'm just you guys. And I'm out. Peace.